I don't think it would benefit needs. I think it would fulfill wants. It would fulfill desires, uh, but I don't think it would fill a need. In my classes, we teach about feeding kids healthy meals and how to prepare healthy meals and what's nutritious and what's not and how pizza is inappropriate for breakfast for a preschooler. And then we have Pizza Hut in our cafeteria for our teenagers and some of our teenagers who have never tasted a vegetable in their lives and who don't know how to prepare fruit and vegetables and things like that to make it taste good. So we might as well put that effort towards something healthy instead of one more. Uh, yes, I think it will because we don't have to like ditch lunch or school to go get Whataburger. And then Rudy doesn't have to be like chasing us around. Yeah, because like everybody's always trying to leave off campus and stuff, like at sea lunch and everything. Like Sarah, she'd be trying to leave <laughs> to go to Whataburger. So I guess like it would be because you have more students staying in school and not trying to run away from campus and go to Whataburger and it would benefit the school because everybody eats Whataburger like I don't know not one person that doesn't eat Whataburger from McKinney so more kids will buy Whataburger and the school would make more money so I think it would be good <laughs> oh you know I um, I would say yeah I think if students if that's what students want to spend their money on I'm sure that McKinney ISD could find a way to make a bit of a profit off of it. You know, maybe charge 10 cents more per every item or maybe just even a nickel and it would raise money for McKinney ISD. Maybe they could use that to fund student council, you know, or other things that like maybe school dances and uh, things like that. I think it would be a very clever way to do that. And the students would get to have an even greater choice. Though I understand that there is a greater choice of food this year than in previous years. So, I mean, that's, that's a positive, but why not more choice? Um, while I think it is not the healthiest food, I do think less students would leave and go off campus if you provided it here instead of them having to drive a mile down the road and skip school during lunch. So I think it would be advantageous. I think there's pluses and minus. Obviously, that would be very attractive to students. They would mm -hmm. like that. It would prevent them from trying to sneak off and head that way on their own. Um, However, we do, I think, have somewhat of a commitment, and I love Whataburger, <laughs> but it's not the healthiest thing. Uh, it's not the best thing for us. And so when you look at the foods that we do offer on the lunch line, they have to meet certain federal, state, and local requirements for nutrition. Uh, that's portioning, okay, how much you get, and then also... <laughs> what it is that you have, whole wheat breads, you know, uh, vegetables, things of that fashion. High school students left to their own accord will eat junk food and soft drinks mm -hmm. and myself included, I, they're good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what oh, you yeah. like, but it's not probably what's right. Um, you know, I've even noticed this year that they've reworked the pizza recipe. The pizzas are a little bit different. They're a little bit thinner, mm -hmm. a little bit different toppings on it. The cheese is a little bit different. It's an attempt to provide, hey, this is an example of what a healthy meal would look like. Uh, Chick-fil-A did not meet the, the requirements, so they weren't able to do it. And so any vendor that we invite in, they first have to go through the Aramark, which is our provider. And so, you know, we have the tortilla factory line, which is kind of like Chipotle. We have the hamburger line, which is kind of like a build-your-own hamburger. We have the sandwich line that's kind of like Subway. We have to use their stuff because we have a contract with them, and they don't always have a contract like with Whataburger. But, you know, I, I'm more committed to providing healthy food than I am necessarily what we like because we want to be a healthy campus, not the most obese campus <laughs> in America. Uh, so nutritionally, yeah. Also cost-wise, it's hard to, I mean, you think about it. If you go through and just buy a hamburger, fries, and a drink, it's what, five or six bucks? Uh, it's, it would still be difficult for some of our kids to afford mm -hmm. that every day. And so uh, I think between the health, you know, what a healthy meal looks like, the portioning so that you know you're not eating this giant hamburger every day, uh, that the school does have an obligation to help build healthy practices. Now, where do you go to eat that's healthy, that's fast food? Subway. Subway. <laughs> They've kind of that's kind of their marketing thing, mm -hmm. and it's what they do. Uh, when you look at all the places, whether it's McDonald's or even Waterburger, some of those they've got a 
chicken sandwich. They've got a salad, but it's usually buried over in one. Their, their thing is cheeseburgers mm -hmm. and fries and, you know, what I call leaded drinks or the full-blown <laughs> sweet drinks ready to go. But, um, you know, part of going to school, I think, is learning how to be healthy and to be active. 